when copper is heated in the presence of oxygen it forms copper oxide so in this case we see that oxygen is added to copper so whenever oxygen is added to a particular substance we call that reaction an oxidation reaction so in this case copper is getting oxidized since oxygen is added to copper copper is getting oxidized now in this case we have copper oxide when it reacts with hydrogen it forms copper and water so what is happening in this case oxygen is being removed so whenever oxygen is being removed that reaction is known as a reduction reaction and in this case oxygen is removed from copper oxide so we say that copper oxide is getting reduced so the addition of oxygen is oxidation in this case hydrogen oxygen is added to hydrogen so hydrogen is undergoing oxidation and copper oxide oxygen is being removed from copper oxide it forms copper so copper oxide is being reduced or this reaction is known as reduction reaction so whenever in a single reaction both reduction and oxidation take place simultaneously that reaction is known as a redox reaction redox means reduction oxidation reaction so in a reaction when oxidation and reduction take place simultaneously that reaction is known as a redox reaction now let's observe this reaction the reaction of copper with oxygen again so in this case copper reacts with oxygen to form copper oxide oxygen is getting added to copper so copper is getting oxidized let's observe something here if we see the overall charge on a neutral atom we know is zero so over here we have neutral copper so the overall charge on copper is zero we have neutral oxygen molecule so if we take one oxygen it is neutral so the overall charge is zero but two substances combine to form a compound only when there is a transfer of electrons in this case this is an ionic or electrovalent compound they form copper oxide only when copper loses two electrons and oxygen gains two electrons so copper it loses two electrons so it becomes 2 plus and oxygen gains two electrons so it becomes 2 minus so what do you observe in this case copper from zero that is it was neutral it is losing electrons so there is a loss of electrons and for oxygen we see from zero that is from neutral it is becoming minus so it is gaining two extra electrons so oxygen is gaining electrons and copper is losing electrons so we know whenever there is a gain of electrons we call that reduction reaction and whenever there is a loss of electrons we call it oxidation reaction so we know now how the removal and addition of oxygen is related with the electrons being involved so in this case again we see that reduction and oxidation reaction are taking place simultaneously so this is a redox reaction so how do we compare oxidation and reduction with the addition and removal of oxygen and and the gain and loss of electrons so whenever there is addition of oxygen or a loss of electrons that reaction is known as an oxidation reaction similarly the opposite case whenever there is a removal of oxygen or gain of electrons we call that reduction reaction so both oxidation and reduction reactions can be in terms of addition and removal of oxygen or the gain or loss of electrons so this is how we get the oxidation and reduction reactions 
in terms of addition and removal of oxygen and the gain and loss of electrons.